Today in Bikes BC, we take my husband's KTM 390 Adventure and my 2023 KTM 890 Adventure R up an awesome for a service road. I drop my 890 and then my husband drops his 390. It was so much fun and I hope you enjoy. The ride begins with a somewhat flat for a service road. There's a lot of roots and ruts, but other than that, it's mostly flat. This allows us to ride pretty quick and just have fun, get used to the bikes before the real fun begins. My husband decided for the first time in years to dust off his GoPro and bring it for this ride. That's awesome because that will allow me to give you a different perspective from his point of view. My husband and I actually did this exact same climb roughly about a year ago. The difference is a year ago I was riding a Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Pro on pretty much road tires. The bike was awesome, but it was my first time riding something so heavy and also so top heavy. That Triumph was an awesome bike, but it was definitely a lot to handle, especially for my first time taking something so heavy off road. My husband was riding a KTM 450 dirt bike that one time. So for him, this was going to be a challenge, since this time he's riding his 390 Adventure, a much heavier bike. For me on the other hand, my 890 feels so much better and so much more capable off-road than my Tiger 900 ever did. This turn marks the beginning of the more challenging part of the climb. After this, the road gets super rocky, which means traction is hard to find and momentum is your best friend. Also, the climb gets a lot steeper. That in combination with the loose terrain means that it's not an easy climb. Even on the 450 a year ago, my husband had not the easiest of times. The GoPro does not the greatest job at showing the terrain, but just keep that in mind. It's really loose terrain and it's quite steeper than the GoPro makes it look like.
Unfortunately, looks like this year we won't be able to get the bikes all the way to the top. There is a big patch of snow blocking the road and no clear way around it. Although, that of course won't stop me from trying. A pretty silly fall, since I probably should have walked this before I tried it. I went into it blind and kind of froze, not knowing what to do. It's up. It's coming back. Can you keep it holding it? Yeah. The fall bent my rear brake, but fortunately, it's nothing that a good pull won't fix. Yeah. Pretty good. Huh. You good? Yeah. I'm gonna come to the other side. I got it. Good? Yeah, got it. So they're not gonna be able to make it. After picking up my bike, we decided to walk the hill, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Turns out there's really no good way around it. Even if you somehow manage to get the bike up through the right, you would have to go left afterwards, which is off camber, and it is quite steep. Even walking, we kept falling back into the snow. So there's really no good way around it. The only way that I could think of that we could get the bikes past the snow would be to dig a trench and get them through the snow on the road. But we didn't have shovels and we also really didn't want to spend the time. So unfortunately, it looks like this year that's as far as the bikes are going to go. From here, we decided to hike it, which turned out to be super fun. And at the end, we were rewarded with this awesome view. Like I said, we were here last year, and the view is awesome. This part of British Columbia is pretty flat, and this hill sits probably, it's probably one of the highest ones, so the view is incredible. You can see for kilometers. I mean, that's obviously why they built a fire tower up here, right? And the views are 100% worth it. We'll probably come back next year with some more experience and probably make another video, but for now, this is our reward, and it was so worth it. After having enjoyed the view for a while, it's time to come down. Last year on the Tiger, this was probably the part where I dropped the bike the most. Road tires gave me absolutely no traction, and that combined with the rocky loose terrain meant I kept dropping the bike. I was so impressed by how well I could handle the way down on the 890 Adventure R. The weight is just where you need it, nice and low. The brakes are good. And on top of that, the tires. The tires make the biggest difference. And these tires, according to most of the reviews I've read, are not that good. So that means this can only get better with better tires later down the road. Overall, I was really happy with the performance on this bike, both up and down this very rocky fire service road. Did you catch it? My husband just fell. 
and somehow my mirror caught it. And that right there is the first official fall for my husband on his new KTM 390 adventure. He slayed the bike down before, but never anything we could actually consider a legit fall. So this one was the first one. Now how unfortunate is it that it was pretty much on the exact same spot where I dropped my Tiger 900 Rally Pro for the first time about a year ago. This hill and the rocky loose terrain has humbled both me and my husband on our first attempt on heavy bikes. We've taken them on hard single track trails, but this loose terrain is more difficult than it seems. Well, that's the end of this video. From here on, it's the same we was when we were coming up and nice and fast roads that unfortunately I couldn't record because my GoPro ran out of power. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This was such a fun trip and I can't wait to take these two bikes on their next adventure. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.